and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous <laughs> physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, so Brad's Bob. a little bit of showboat. Today, we're going to talk about goodbye flab. That's right, Bob. With this 10-minute full-body, large-loop band workout. You can do it anywhere. That's right, Bob. Bob, the best you can way... do it in the shower? Well, yes, we don't recommend it, but it is possible. <laughs> this is a great way to get a full-body, fat-burning workout with minimal equipment. Uh, you're going to add some resistance, and you're going to feel like you've lost slab when you're the done. The thing is, you can do it in 10 minutes, and you can get a pretty good workout in 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, you're, it's you're definitely going to – you're going to be ready to take a rest. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second oh. to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain for you. And we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. That's this week, right. we're giving away TENS units. TENS unit. There you go. And you don't know what that is, probably. But that is a small electrical unit that you can keep in your pocket. The electrodes attached to the painful area. And you can decrease pain. You can get rid of your those narcotics and prescription medication and... All those great things. Say no more, Bob. Yeah, uh, you can also find the contest. It'll be <laughs> pinned at the top of the page of Facebook. And you can also go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. That's right, because some people can only take 60 seconds of us. Yeah. But if you want a longer version, go to our podcast. We have some outstanding interviews with experts, authors, and even us talk amongst From each other. From around the world. Hey, no kidding. Yeah, New Zealand, yeah. Australia, whatever. I shouldn't say whatever. They're probably... No, Steve will get mad. Don't insult people. <laughs> Sorry about that, Steve. Anyways, uh, should we carry on, Bob? Yes, let's carry on. All right. So uh, what you're going to need for this exercise, this routine, this workout is some large loop bands are becoming very popular. Uh, I, I made a video on this about six months ago. It really got a lot of views, and we did say that was for beginners. We did say we're going to come out with another video follow-up, and this is And we is keep it. our promises. That's right. So this is it. So uh, when you buy one of these, they typically come with five different resistance bands. Uh, you're going to find out that one of the resistance for this workout, you'll probably just use one band. I do. Uh, you could might use two bands. It's typically up to you. I'm going to use the red one. Naturally, I could go to the black one, but I don't want to show off. Right. You can't see it as well. And you're instructing, you're talking. So yes, I can't. A little more difficult. But, you know, it's your choice. So, now these are all set up. We're going to start working in this position. You're going to put the band here. I like to put my thumbs right there. It's a little more comfortable. If you want to use some gloves, like some biking gloves or golfing gloves, it's a little more comfortable, but not necessary at all. And we're going to put our feet on the loop band like this. Now we're going to do five exercises from this, this position. basic starting position. Gotcha. Okay, first one, posture, okay? Now I would recommend you do a little warm-up, some jumping sure. jacks uh, first. Prior to this. Prior to this. It doesn't have to be extensive, but it would be nice Just to get Just get your the heart rate up a little bit. Exactly right. A little bit, right. a little bit of sweat. Mm -hmm. This is this is not beginner, so we're not going to go into that. Sure. Okay, so we're starting here, and we're just going to do curls up like this and down. And look at the posture. I'm not like this. I'm really attentive, and I'm breathing. I'm going to go through uh, ten on these. I thought you said five. Well, I was going to, but you know, <laughs> it's going to depend. You know, you when I'm on. talking, I lose my count. Sure. Uh, you're going to have to be responsible for your own count. So, you know, self-responsibility is That's important, right. Bob. That's right. We agree. So from here, we're going to go to over the head and tricep curls over the top. Now, Bob, you want to talk about shoulder problems? Yeah. If you have impingement, um, mm -hmm. you might not want to do this one. Right. Um, I would go by, judge it by how it feels. Yep. If it feels fine while you're doing it and it feels fine afterwards, yep. you're okay. Very good. But, but if you're having pain even afterwards, like, oh, I did those and my shoulder really is sore. Yeah. If Don't do it. Yeah. We just want muscle fatigue pain. Now, this is a really good one for the shoulders and posture. It's here, 90 degree bend in the elbow. And look what I'm doing. Bob, tell sure. me, show me the important part about so, this. So, this is actually strengthening some what we call the external rotators. And actually, part of the rotator cuff, there's two muscles here. And they're on the shoulder blade itself, and you're strengthening those. 
You're also strengthening the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. All this is the foundation of the shoulder. If you did, if these are weak or not out of position, out of position, they will not uh, keep the shoulder right. in place. And and talk about me. this. Squeeze the back together. Yeah, you, you can see they squeeze in the shoulder blades together. See how my fingers are coming together? I'm tired, Bobby. All right, I sorry. I got that one. But that is a really critical one, and we feel strongly about that. Next one, same hand position. Go up and over like this, kind of like you had a barbell and you were going to do some squats. But from here, again, my feet have not moved. And you should have shoes on when you do this. Don't do it barefoot. It's much better with some shoes on. And we're going to do uh, five to ten squats. Okay. Again, it's real handy that you can do five exercises without – changing position it is hard. now avoid you're not doing this shoulders back up and we're doing some good quality mechanics and work those squats as you can now this is a fun one you can keep your hands up here or go to this position i'm going to go to here and we're going to do lateral side step side in. steps this one is not easy it looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> right, exactly, right, Bob? And if it's too hard, just bring your hands down. If you really want to go hard, make yourself like this and work those shoulders. You can hear the from his breathing, it's Ooh. very difficult. Okay. I'm having fun. You know, now what's nice about these is look how small these are. You, you could actually put it in your purse spread. Yeah. <laughs> Give you a purse. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get on to the next one. Sure. Now you step. One foot goes down, and we're going to go here. I really like to put my thumb through there. You don't have to grab. Sure. And we're just going to do shoulder flexion. Sure. We're do and five. again, if it hurts all the way up, just go halfway yep. up. Don't go so yep. far. Uh, that's a nice thing. You can actually just go down here if you want more resistance. Sure. You can vary the resistance in Some a lot of different ways. Sculpt the level, yep. and if it feels okay, you can go all the way. Yep. And the same with abduction. Uh, it's going out to the side. I could change to my left foot and do and that. Work the makes right. It, uh, yeah, yeah makes little, it easier. little different resistance. Okay, so we got flexion, shoulder abduction, and now this is a one of my favorite ones. Lunges. Right foot here. Take the the band. Go over your neck like this, and then we're just going to do the lunges from here. So we got resistance from the bands. If you want more resistance, you can you can push out there, or this may be enough, and it probably will be. Sometimes I'll put both hands and I'll go out like this. Oh yeah, that's feeling. I would it. say actually it's enough for me without the bands. Yeah, and it may be. Yeah, it, it, to once, start exactly, and of course we need to do both feet. Brad so is an it, animal. It's like this. And this, like the purse thing you talk about, just go over your neck like you got a purse. Watch out for your Yeah, oh, my mic. mic. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that, Tanner? Am I making noise? Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, yeah. There you go. And that's why you have to go through this a couple, three times, and then you'll get your routine down pat where you put the band exactly. And if, you know, if you want to start without it, the band for the, those initial yep. lunges, feel free to do so. Okay. Now, this next one is nice. Just a loop in your hands like this. And we're going to do whoop, flies. Ooh, actually, and again, that same flies. thing again, kind of, you're bringing the shoulder blades together again. Squeeze back. Oh, see, yeah. You can see my thumbs come together. That's where shoulder, the edge of the shoulder yeah. blade is at. I like to, I think about bringing my sternum and my chest out till it touches the band. Then I know I've got good mechanics and a good extension. Throughout my this back. This is a great posture one yep. that you could do throughout the day. You could even at your chair. Sure. You yeah. Keep the loop band by your office yep. desk. Then you go over the back and behind, right about at the shoulder blade level. If you go too high, it goes around your neck. Not right. desirable. And you'll get a hang of that quickly. And we're just going to do some flies. So you're working the chest muscles. Yep. Exactly. And you can, you can see I, I flex my elbows a little bit to get a little bit more. Um, Muscle activity in those pecs, and you sure. can feel that. All right, good job, Brad. Yeah, we're not done yet. From here, right. we might as well go right into another tricep, yeah. or now, you can go into like a push up. Chest, yeah. yeah. It, now, now, this was a lot easier on the shoulder. So yeah. If you have trouble with this one, right. you're going overhead, yep. you can actually go out like this. Exactly. 
I like yeah. how efficient these are, Brad. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really nice routine. I'm really happy with it. Now the next one, we're gonna go down to the floor. All right. So you start out with step through the loop like this, bring it up above your knees on your thighs, keep your hands here like this, and quadruped or all hands and knees. All four, you know, all yep. four supports. So this is a, can you see me? Okay. All we're gonna do is, what do you call this one, Bob? Uh, the fire, fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. The good hip abduction, uh, great for the hip if you want it. A little more difficult, move the band down around your knees or just pull more on the uh, bands and you'll do fine. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Don't let your leg, knee touch the ground between. Do it in front of your dog and make him look at, at you like you're weird. Yeah, ah, those dogs, you know, <laughs> they'll get jealous. What are you doing? That's my job. Yeah. Oh, that's working good. Now I find if you just crisscross this and you get an X in there, it adds resistance. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's wow. just little tricks of the trade on this. Sure. Now, this is the one I really like, Bob. This is the pointer dog. Sure. All right, take your band, and we're going to put it between your knees and loop it through your foot like that. You're going to go to the right foot, left hand, opposite, all fours. The opposite ones. Yep. Now, you got two options, depending on how strong you are or how you're feeling. We can do straight out kicks. It's critical that the core is tight, stable, neutral back. And we kick out like this. And then the next one is this for the arm. Separately. And the goal is to get to do both at the same time. You may start out doing this right away. Depends on what level you're at. And we oh, call this Brad. the pointer dog. You are an animal, Brad. Ah, it feels good, Bob. I'm feeling strong like a bull, yeah. but look like a pointer dog. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And it is critical that you do both feet. Switch. Switch it around. Yeah. And opposite leg, opposite arm. I'm Where's getting... the pheasant, Brad? Where's yeah. the pheasant? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, no, that's a hound. I'm a, yeah. I'm a pointer. Pointer dogs are very quiet. Yeah. They just point like they just point. Oh, yeah. They put the beepers on their collars. You know Do that? They really? Yeah. After when they point and they're just, they call it, uh, they're stuck or froze. There's a name for locked on the bird. It's beeping for you so you know that. Yeah, there's a beeper that. that senses no motion and it beeps. Wow. Now, here's the bonus, Bob. If you're up for it, take the band here. Go around like this. I'm going to do another push-up wow. video coming up. And this yeah. is just a part of it. So we can go down Make and do the, harder, the huh? power push-up if you would like to. Strictly bonus. It's up to you. So That's better than I thought, Brad. What's I, that? I thought it would be slack, you know, when you go oh, down. Yeah. But it, it was giving you re uh, resistance yeah. all the way down, yeah. wasn't it? It's kind of nice because the bands give you res more resistance when you get to the end range, which is what you lose or right. lack with weights. Right. So, you know, the bands and the weights uh, really complement each other. Bob, I'm tired. Uh, I, I think I just lost 30, I 30 to, pounds. I have to clap. Belly feels a little tighter. Yeah. Tighter. All right. Uh, we'll make it up with the beer this weekend. So. <laughs> yeah, uh. no problem there. <laughs> oh, we're not quite done yet, Bob. Right. Uh, for your benefit, if you'd like to do this and you don't want to go through with me again, we're going to give a... Uh, a PDF or a picture well, on the screen? On the screen. So you can just stop the screen right at the end here, yep. and you'll see the picture, and you can just yep. follow along. Put it on pause and just yep. leave it there as you go through the exercises, and uh, life will be good. So uh, enjoy the large loop workout and be careful.